people gonna think of our new buttermilk crispy chicken? Let's find out. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yep. Yeah, of course, yeah. definitely. Well, here's our car. The location is on the back. Okay. It's McDonald's. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, get out of here. No way. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. Buttermilk? <laughs> <laughs> We're back on Ask the Coach with Coach Jeff Griffith of the Barron County Trojans. We want to remind you that uh, after the show, if you would like to check out uh, more of the show or, or watch the game film, you can do that uh, with McDonald's Ask the Coach podcast with game film. And you can just go to watchwclu.com or go to WCLU and click on the video link and uh, see last night's game along with the coach's show today. Uh, Coach, we, we've talked a, a lot about our offense that last uh, – uh, segment uh, coming back talking about our defense uh, last night you know again we we talk about Zach Zach Sneed playing on both sides of the ball uh, not only did he did he carry the football last night 240 yards of offense rushing uh, but six tackles uh, him and him and Grant Bowen both six tackles apiece uh, Mason Perkins coming up with five Jordan Hill with four uh, you know Zach New coming in with three uh, some other guys there with a couple tackles apiece. But, again, you hardly ever saw one guy making a tackle. There was usually at least three or four there. And, and as a coach, you, you've, got to, you've got to be encouraged when you see those burgundy helmets run into the football. You know, the last two or three weeks we've done a great job defensively in terms of playing with great effort and getting to the football, as you talk about. And, and you know, to be a good defense that's what you have to do and and we did that last night and we've done it for the last couple of weeks and as long as we do that and and continue to play with great effort and execute the game plan defensively about what you know in terms of what we're uh, seeing from the other offense you know we can be a pretty good defense and I thought we were pretty good defensively last night for most of three quarters and then we kind of lost some momentum and lost our way a little bit there in the fourth on some things but you know but for three quarters last night we were uh, we were pretty good defensively against a pretty good offensive football team yeah I of course I don't know as you as you break it all down I, I do know that in the first quarter uh, Edmondson County was 14 for 64 rushing and like I said two for 10 with 13 yards passing in that second half uh, they were 17 for 138 yards rushing uh, and then uh, of course uh, three for seven 45 yards passing uh, and, and all of that pretty much every bit of that came for them in a what a an eight or a probably a seven minute window there in the starting of the fourth quarter yeah and like i said the momentum just really shifted to them in a hurry and and we got on our heels big time and and had a hard time stopping them and not only did we have a hard time stopping them we couldn't get off the field you know between the uh onside kick and then the turnover and and we just couldn't get off the field and and finally once our offense got back out there and put a drive together and we kind of caught our breath you know we got to stop there on the last drive to get the ball back with about four minutes to go and i said run the clock out but you know pleased with our effort defensively i thought we uh, played extremely hard and got great effort from everybody up front and uh you know did well enough to win the football game even though you know defensively might have broke down a little bit there in the fourth quarter i think of twice they put it they put a drive together not just in the red zone inside the 10 and i think one of those times they were inside the five and our defense made a stand and stopped them and then you know of course our offense was backed up uh, and and both times i think we ended up having to punt but still when a team drives the ball inside the red zone and, and that's that's been a problem for us and they drove it down in the red zone and our defense stood and and caused them to have to punt the football and or, or to turn it over on downs and then even though our offense had to punt the football that's still you know take you know standing up there not allowing them to get in the end zone well i think we turned them over on downs like you said inside the 10 twice yep. and held them on fourth down and then of course ironically uh, the first touchdown they scored to kind of get the momentum on their side came on fourth and nine and they scored on the fourth and nine because we had an alignment problem you know we go through i know the, our players probably think i'm nuts but we probably take 30 minutes a day in practice and we just go over getting a line correctly to formations and the play they scored on on that fourth and nine play we had an incorrect alignment 
and then the, of course the quarterback it, it just seems like if there's an incorrect alignment against us they're going to find it and he did and ran for a you know a touchdown right there but you know that's fourth and nine and, and otherwise you know it's still 21 to two and, yeah and, and but, we and we've caused them turn it over and, on downs uh, again, again inside yeah. the red zone so you know just a little uh small things such as alignment are so important and and we've struggled with alignment issues and at times some this year and you know and, and but we had kind of we cut down on that a lot, and but man, it showed its ugly head last night on that fourth and nine play, and uh, you know just gave it up. But again, very happy with our effort and uh, and, and what we did in terms of turn, turning them over inside the the red zone a couple of times last night. Our our defense is going to have to play well this week. Uh, you know, first round of the playoffs, uh, we we have to travel down to Christian County down at the Stadium of Champions, and it's called that for a reason. Uh, you know, Hopkinsville and Christian County both play there. Uh, this week, we've got something a little different. We're playing on Thursday night. Uh, we travel down to Christian County uh, Thursday night, 7 o'clock, uh, to play a, a very good Christian County ball team, 7-3. Uh, and three. And as we talked earlier, their losses have come to Bowling Green, Owensboro, and last night to, at John Harden. So they, you know, it's not like somebody has just come up and, and bit them. Uh, these are three good football teams that's beat them, and, and we're going to have to be clicking on all cylinders in order to go down and, and to win this week. It's going to be a little different playing on a Thursday night. The reason that the game is on a Thursday night is because both Christian County and Hopkinsville share the same stadium, and in most years, you know, they've been in the same district, so it, it hasn't been an issue because they're they're both either the two three seed or the three seed. So one's either the, uh, you know, usually on the road or something. But this year they're in different classes, and they both have home games in terms of their seating. And so, you know, they've got a when they built the stadium, they just kind of wrote it into an agreement. And, you know, in some less in these words, I guess, in odd numbered years, Hopkinsville gets the first choice of games. And, uh, and in even years, of course, Christian does. Well, this is an odd year. So Hopkinsville gets the choice. Uh, of, so they're obviously going to play on Friday night. So myself and Coach Loveless got together. And you either play on Thursday or Saturday. So we decided to play on Thursday night. And, and, the, and the good thing is it's supposed to be a beautiful week and a beautiful night Thursday night for a drive down for our fans. And, and um you know, and be excited to start the playoffs. I don't know how many other playoff games this. You know, there'll probably be a few that will play on Thursday night, but be a good way to kick off the playoffs. And you know, they're a good football team. You know, I think we've kind of uh, gotten a lot better here the last two or three weeks, and we hope to go down there and, and fight our tails off and get after it. I know a couple of years ago, uh, some of our coaches were telling me we went down, and I remember the game because we had to prepare for Christian while I was at Bowling Green and saw the game, and and Barron played their tails off. Uh, I think it was in 2012. 12 and, yep. and uh, but you know we want to go down there and compete and get after it and try to get it to the fourth quarter and see if we can make something happen yeah just going to be a short week to prepare uh, that that's that's one thing that kind of gets you behind the eight ball so uh, you know up this morning and uh, don't really have time to celebrate a win uh, you know celebrate that uh, while you're here on the show and and uh, then you're going to go and, and start uh, looking at film breaking down film on what Christian looks like and uh, to get ready for them. A lot of people don't understand that, but a, a short week's hard to get a game plan together on when, when you've taken away a day. Well, the game plan aspect of it in terms of our coaching staff and getting ready to implement it won't change a whole lot. But what will change, it kind of gets you off kilter in your routine. And usually uh, Mondays are just a, a, a walkthrough, install the game plan with just nothing but helmets. But, you know, this week with a shorter week, we'll probably go shoulder pads and helmets Monday, full gear Tuesday, and then a little more than what we on Wednesday than what we would do on a on a normal game week of Thursday so it's going to be pushed up a little bit but you know this time of year it's just you know it's not like we're going out there and doing a lot of hitting and banging on each other in practice it's just about getting the game plan installed getting a feel for what they're trying to do offensively and defensively and, and going and playing on Thursday and, and you know of course recovering from the bumps and bruises from the week before and you know We've done a pretty good job of that. We've had good practices all through the you know the last month or so. I've been extremely happy with how that's gone with our players and, and our preparation and you know and that's the key and I think that's been a key for us playing a little better here the last three or four weeks and I have no doubt that we'll come in and, and do the same thing even though it's going to be a little different schedule than what we've had but we'll come in and prepare and go down there and, and hopefully put together a good football game. 
Well, folks, we want to invite you to uh, come out Thursday night and make the trip down to Hopkinsville uh, to the Stadium of Champions. Cheer on your Barron County Trojans in the first round of the playoffs against a, a good Christian County team. Uh, that'll be at 7 o'clock Thursday night. If you're not able to, to drive down, uh, you can catch that over um, on uh, Commonwealth Broadcasting uh, during the, the night. And I want to say thank you uh, to Jay Turner and Robert Bauer and, and uh, Coach Butler. Uh, thanks to those guys uh, for getting me these offensive stats. I wouldn't have these uh, for the show if it wasn't for them. Uh, I get that from them that night because I know you guys, uh, it, it's hard to get all your stuff together uh, for, for in time for the show. So I want to I want to say uh, thanks to those guys for uh, passing that on to me each week. And, uh, again, thanks to my wife for, for helping keep those defensive stats and, and uh, go back and, and thank you, Coach, for getting that game film posted so I can go back and, and look at that as well. And, uh, but, folks, we, uh, we want to thank you, and we just want to remind you, uh, come on down next week and uh, cheer the boys on as they, they go into fight in the first round of the playoffs. And, uh, we, again, we want to thank our sponsors. We want to thank Coach Griffith uh, for coming and, and being a part of the show. And uh, just uh, come on out, support the team. If you see any of these boys out in town, you know them, uh, just give them a pat on the back and say, guys, uh, we're, we're rooting for you uh, for this first round of the playoffs. We'll be back next Saturday morning. Uh, hopefully, Coach, talk about another W uh, to win a first round playoff game. And uh, we just uh, we, we wish you guys the best this week and uh, safety as you travel down, as you practice this week. And uh, we, we're just we're behind you 100%. We want to we want to thank our sponsors. We want to thank McDonald's of Glasgow. And if you want to uh, catch the uh, Ask the Coach podcast with Game Film, you can do that after the show on WatchWCLU.com or go to WCLU.com uh, and, and click on the video link. Uh, we'll be back next Saturday morning uh, with the Coaches Show with Coach Jeff Griffith of the Barron County Trojans. We're back on Ask the Coach with Coach Jeff Griffith of the Barron County Trojans. We want to remind you that uh, after the show, if you would like to check out uh, more of the show or, or watch the game film, you can do that uh, with McDonald's Ask the Coach podcast with game film. And you can just go to watchwclu.com or go to WCLU and click on the video link and uh, see last night's game along with the coach's show today. Uh, Coach we, we've talked a, a lot about our offense that last uh, uh, segment. Uh, coming back, talking about our defense uh, last night. You know, again, we, we talk about Zach, Zach Sneed playing on both sides of the ball. Uh, not only did he, did he carry the football last night, 240 yards of offense rushing, uh, but six tackles. Uh, him and him and Grant Bowen, both six tackles apiece. Mason Perkins coming up with five. Jordan Hill with four. Uh, you know, Zach New coming in with three. Uh, some other guys there with a couple tackles apiece. But, again, you hardly ever saw one guy making a tackle. There was usually at least three or four there. And, and as a coach, you, you've, got to, you've got to be encouraged when you see those burgundy helmets run into the football. You know, the last – Two or three weeks, we've done a great job defensively in terms of playing with great effort and getting to the football, as you talk about. And and you know, to be a good defense, that's what you have to do. And and we did that last night. And we've done it for the last couple of weeks. And as long as we do that and and continue to play with great effort and execute the game plan defensively about what you know in terms of what we're uh, seeing from the other offense, you know, we can be a pretty good defense. And I thought we were pretty good defensively last night for most of three quarters. And then we kind of lost some momentum and lost our way a little bit there in the fourth on some things but you know but for three quarters last night we were uh, we were pretty good defensively against a pretty good offensive football team yeah I of course I don't know as you as you break it all down I, I do know that in the first quarter uh, Edmondson County was 14 for 64 rushing and like I said two for 10 with 13 yards passing in that second half uh, they were 17 for 138 yards rushing uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, three for seven, 45 yards passing. Uh, and, and all of that, pretty much every bit of that came for them 
in a what a an, an eight or a probably a seven minute window there in the starting of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and like I said, the momentum just really shifted to them in a hurry, and and we got on our heels big 